Okay, is this seventh grade math? And I'm referring to this stuff right here. And you're looking at it and you're like, I don't even know what this is. Okay, I don't remember learning this in the seventh grade. And you would be correct. This is not seventh grade math. This is, in fact, trigonometry, okay, which is a, a pretty advanced high school math course. But the question is this Could a seventh grader or sixth grader or anybody learn trigonometry? without knowing trigonometry, okay? And the answer is a resounding yes, okay? And I'm going to get into how I would explain uh, the concept of or concepts of trigonometry to someone, let's say, in the seventh grade. But uh, it doesn't make a difference if you don't, you know, if you've never taken trigonometry before and you're just curious about the subject, well, then this video uh, will, I think, be interesting to you. So we're going to get into this in a second. We're going to explain all this little craziness here, this S-I-N, C-O-S, T-A-N, this is called a sine, cosine, tangent. And um, you'll walk away with a, a decent appreciation of trigonometry and hopefully and a uh, motivation to learn the subject. But uh, we're going to get to this in a second. But first, let me go ahead and quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over many years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the, one of the best online math help programs there is. So if you need to take a full, complete math course, I can help you. Or if you need assistance in a math course that you're taking, I can also help you. So uh, my program contains full, comprehensive, complete lessons, and I teach you how to solve the most common problems you're going to face as a middle and high school math student. Okay, I literally solve thousands of problems, all video-based. Now, one thing I must stress, if you are formally in a math course or going to be taking a math class, is the importance of note-taking, okay? Over decades of teaching math, one thing is apparent to me, those students who take the best notes almost always have the best math grades, and the reverse is true. Those students who don't take notes, inconsistent notes, sloppy notes, maybe their dog ate their homework and their notes. Who knows, right? They just don't have any notes. Listen, that's not a good thing. You need to have, you need to have something to study from. So as you're improving your note-taking skills, I actually offer very detailed, comprehensive notes. Those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find the link to all this stuff in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get into trigonometry. And uh, the best way to do this is to look at a practical problem with uh, you know, where trigonometry helps us out. Okay, so trigonometry is basically, um, you can just think of it as the math that involves triangles, okay, angles and triangles, right? So if we have like a triangle here, so we have an angle, an angle, and an angle, then we have a side, a side, and a side. So trigonometry helps us solve for anything we want in this triangle. Maybe it's this angle, maybe it's this side. And this trigonometry, this uh, mathematics, this, this topic um, helps us solve all kinds of um, interesting practical problems. It's a very, very important um, uh, math topic, okay, or math subject. So let's take a look at this basic example, and we're going to use this example to get an appreciation of trigonometry. And if you've never seen trigonometry before, you're going to end up loving it here in just one second. So let's say I'm out in the forest, and I'm kind of walking along, and I'm like, wow, what a beautiful tree. I wonder how tall that tree is. So I'm thinking to myself, well, how can I practically measure that tree? Well, I don't think I'm going to climb up it and drop a tape measure down. That would be very difficult. Maybe you can get like a little trampoline kind of deal and, and then kind of bounce up and down, up and down, try to get up here and then drop a tape measure down. Of course, that would be very dangerous as well. So that's not a good approach. And I'm like, well, I still want to know how tall, what's the height of that tree? So this is where trigonometry becomes our, you know, our lifesaver. Okay. So what we can do is let's say from the, the base of this tree, I walk out, okay, I'm going to walk out 200 feet. Okay. And from the base of the tree, I, I stop and then I go, you know what, I'm going to just see from this, from where I'm standing all the way up to the top of the tree, I'm going to take this angle right here. That's 30 degrees. So let's say I had some sort of protractor device or some way I was able to measure from uh, where my location was 200 feet away. 
up to the very top of the tree, and that was 30 degrees. So now I have a kind of basic like triangle situation going on, and this information is all I need to determine the height of the tree. Of course, you need to, need to know a little bit of trigonometry, and I'm going to teach you this in a second. All right, so don't listen. If you've never um, seen the subject, okay, or been intimidated by it, just stick with me for a few minutes. You're going to love this stuff. It's not that hard. All right, let's get to this situation. Now, this is a uh, more kind of formal diagram of our scenario. So this is our tree here, okay? And this is 200 feet away from the tree. And this is 30 degrees for me looking up to the top of the tree. Now, of course, we got to make a couple assumptions here. we got to assume that our tree is perfectly perpendicular to the ground, etc. But you can see how this forms a nice triangle. So any kind of word problem, you always going to want to distill you know, uh, this down into a more of a simpler figure. And that's what this is, okay? And so X, this represents the height of the tree. It's the unknown value um, that we're trying to find. So we're trying to determine this uh, length here. I have this length. I want to know this length. And I have this angle. This is all we need plus trigonometry to determine this side of this triangle, okay? Now, we'll make a little um, a quick comment that I am dealing with, with what we call right triangles, right? A right triangle means that this is 90 degrees. And of course, we're assuming that our wonderful tree here is perfectly perpendicular. It's not like, you know, hasn't been through like a hurricane or something like that. It's not doing one of these businesses and whatnot. So yeah, we're making these basic assumptions, right? So we're talking about a right triangle 200 feet away and we're looking for this length here. All right, so now it's time to learn some basic trigonometric concepts. Now, if you remember, in the beginning of this video, there was a bunch of these things, sine x, cosine x, tangent x. This is, you know, really, you see, this is the most common type of stuff you see in trigonometry. So this is sine, cosine, and tangent. We're gonna use this one, tangent. Now. The way you say this is sine, cosine, and tangent, and the x's here represent angles. And all these things are, are fractions, okay? These are nothing more than uh, some sort of fraction. And it's a fraction of comparing any two sides, any two sides of a triangle. If we take two sides, like this side and this side, and we, make, we can make a fraction, right? So let's say I have a triangle like this, and this is three, four, and five. I mean, look at all the opportunities I can make fractions here. I can go three over four, that's three fourths, or I can go five over uh, uh, four fifths, uh, three fifths, you kind of get the picture, right? So sine, cosine, tangent are nothing more than fractions uh, that we can construct from the sides of a right triangle. Now, Again, the one that we're going to use in this problem is the tangent, and I'm going to explain that now. All right, so T-A-N, we say this uh, as tangent, and remember, right now we're learning trigonometry. And um, we have this little nice phrase called TOA, all right? It's really the phrase is called, is called uh, SOCA TOA, SOCA TOA, and you're like, what does that mean? Well, we're using this part of that phrase, SOCA TOA, TOA means the tangent is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So don't panic. I'm going to tell you what that means right now. Okay. The tangent of an angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Now, in this, let's look at this triangle here. This is the angle that I'm interested in. Okay. So this is my angle. Now, opposite, the, the length of the triangle that's opposite of this angle is way over here. Okay. So just think about that. Here's my angle way over here is the opposite side. Now the side that's right next to the angle, okay, is called the adjacent side. All right, that's the adjacent side. And then this longest side of this right triangle is always called the hypotenuse. We're not going to use this guy uh, for the tangent, okay? We do use that uh, for these um, sine and cosine, but for the tangent, where you just need to know the opposite and adjacent. So the tangent of an angle, okay, the tangent of an angle is equal to, so the tangent of any angle, all right, is equal to the opposite 
over the adjacent, and we kind of re remember that by that little phrase, TOA, okay? It's a fraction. So whatever this side is right here, we'll, uh, we'll put as the numerator, and then whatever this side is, is the denominator. So the tangent of 30 degrees in this triangle will be this dimension, okay, over, or this length, over this length, okay, the opposite over the adjacent, and that's the tangent, okay? So what we need to know is that the tangent of 30 degrees is going to be equal to the opposite over the adjacent, okay? That's that. Now, let's actually start putting in the uh, values from the, our actual problem. But we just need to have a basic understanding of what the tangent is. And this could be any number or any uh, degree. It could be 60 degrees, 70 degrees, 15 degrees. doesn't make a difference. It's still going to be the opposite over the adjacent. All right. Now, let's get back to our picture here, okay, our figure with our tree. So our um, the height of the tree, this unknown value x, remember, this is the opposite side. Okay, with, uh, with respect to this angle. And the adjacent side is 200 feet. Okay, so this is the adjacent side. So remember the tangent now of 30 degrees is going to be the opposite over the adjacent. And again, our opposite is this X. Okay, and the adjacent is this 200. Okay, so now we have ourselves a nice, easy, basic uh, equation that we can solve. So the tangent, all right, the tangent of this angle, all right, is equal to the opposite, which is x, over the adjacent, which is 200, all right? And now we have this equation to solve. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve that equation. And when we solve for x, all right, we are going to solve this problem. Now, in seventh grade, or even if you don't even know how to solve equations, don't panic, just stick with me. This is easy stuff. You'll get you'll get it, okay? All right. So here's the equation we have, right? So this is the one that we constructed. The tangent of 30 uh, degrees equals x over 200. Now, any number, okay? And by the way, this is something we could plug into our calculator and get a value uh, from. So let's take a number like, say, 7, okay? How do I write 7 as a fraction? You're like, well, that's just 7. No, you can always write... Any number is a fraction by putting it over 1. So the tangent of 30 degrees, if I want to think of it as a fraction, we're just going to put that over 1. Okay. So here is our equation. Okay. This is the same thing, but now this is over 1. And I'm bringing it down here so we can just kind of focus on it. We're going to solve for x. I'm going to teach you how to solve for it right now. So when you have a uh, basic equation like this, it's very easy to solve these type of, of um, simple equations. So the tangent of 30 degrees, if you have a calculator or your cell phone, smartphone or anything else or computer, you can go on to your little calculator, okay, most people's calculator, and try to go into like the scientific mode. You'll see uh, some buttons on your calculator and it will be the tan, sine, and cosine little buttons, okay? So we do need a little calculator here to help us solve uh, this particular uh, problem. There's other, you know, and more advanced trigonometry. We could do some other things, but just know we're going to need our uh, little calculator so we can plug in uh, the tangent of 30, okay? So again, uh, you know, uh, if you have your phone, uh, most smartphones, you can, you can um, select a scientific mode when you see that S-I-N, C-O-S, and T-A-N functions on your calculator or your computer, or maybe you have a little basic scientific calculator around, okay, we need to do that. Now, one other thing, too, we have to make sure we're working with degrees, okay? And if you didn't mess with your calculator, okay, you will be in degree mode by default, right? But basically, the thing is this. If you go into your calculator and you... Uh, hit the TAN button and, t and 30, okay, and then hit enter, it's going to spit out a decimal, right? Just, just know that this is a number, a value that we can get from our calculator. So it's a number. Okay, so all we need to do to solve this equation is multiply across, okay? So this is very easy. All right, so this is how this works. X times 1 is uh, X, okay? So X times 1 
is x, and now we want to figure out what 30, the tangent of 30 degrees times 200 is. So that would be 200 times the tangent of 30 degrees. Remember, I can go into my calculator and plug this in and get this decimal. All right, so when you do this, okay, if you're following along with me, you'll get the decimal uh, point uh, 5773502692. Okay, so of course we can round off, but let's just use the entire decimal and it'll make our answer more um, accurate. So we'll take the tangent of 30 degrees, we hit enter, we get this decimal, and then we're going to multiply it by 200, and you get this. You get x equal is equal to 115.47. What do you think this number represents? Well, it represents the height of our tree. Okay, remember, let's go back to our problem here. Here was 30 degrees. All right, this was 200. Uh feet, okay, that was how far we were away from the tree, and we were trying to get x, and we just uh, calculated for x using the tangent function, and we got 115.47, but this would be feet because this was in feet, okay? So our tree is 115.47 uh, feet, and we saved ourselves the risk of climbing up to the top of the tree and really being in danger by just simply using trigonometry, okay? So if you've never seen trigonometry before, these are the type of problems that trigonometry can help us uh, solve, right? Now, again, we just use the basic example of tangent, or we could use uh, sine and cosine in a similar way for any kind of triangle problem. And this is kind of the essence of trigonometry, right? This is the beginning of it, real practical. We call this kind of right triangle trigonometry. But once you learn this stuff, then you kind of build up to more interesting stuff like this stuff, okay? And you just keep going, all right? Now, um, whether you're in seventh grade, sixth grade, tenth uh, grade, maybe you're uh, 60 years old, doesn't make a difference. If you're not, you know, if something's new to you, it doesn't have to be intimidating. What you need is just a good basic introduction uh, of the concepts. You know, it's simplified, right? We don't want to, you know, uh, you know get into the more advanced stuff, like, hey, let's get a sense of what this subject's about. Trigonometry is awesome. I hope this uh, video, you know, in some way mo motivates you to want to learn the subject. It's very, very cool. But um, if you like this video in some manner, you know, we're entertained by it, please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Um, as you can tell, I love teaching mathematics. I've been uh, on YouTube for 10 plus years at the t 10 plus years at the time of this video have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos already on my YouTube channel organized in various playlists. So if you like my teaching style, you can learn a lot from me on all type of uh, math subjects, basic to advanced. But if you really want to learn from me, my best uh, resources, you can follow the links in the description uh, of this video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.